Things like Corsas, Fiat Punto, Micra. I'm sorry, but when I'm driving a computer game, I mean playing a computer game, you know what I mean. I really don't want to be driving cars. My neighbours from across the street who are 85 and 83 drive. It's no, 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 no. So yeah, it has a lot of cars, very lot of supers and stuff, you know. Yeah, but a lot. Plenty of the cars are slow as hell. I mean, there's a Fiat Punto race. You listening? A Fiat Punto race in one of the difficulty things. I think it's expert. I think. Do you know what you get for winning that Punto race? Another Fiat Punto. Oh my God! Why? Why would I want another one? It it really is troublesome that, and then we shift it. Well, heads up, Grand Turismo wins this, but with a proviso, most of the cars, most of the cars are freaking slow as hell. Even you tune them up, it's like there's no bloody point having cars like this. But with shift, you because the pace of the game is faster. Most even down to the slowest cars seem a little fast. I mean, my Golf Scirocco. <laughs> Delish. I tell you straight, it's delicious. Especially the engine. Oh. But yeah, this that has a lot less cars, but most of them are fast. But the pro but the biggest problem is you limit the amount of cars you can have in your garage. Because Gran Turismo doesn't. You can keep piling cars until you got every single one. And you've wasted fifteen, twenty years of your life. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's a horrible game, I'm saying that it takes too fucking long. I mean my god. The endurance races, they're like half an hour long. No, not even half an hour long, mate. You get four hour, twenty hour, four endurance races. It's a fucking computer game. If you kept doing that race over and over again, after twelve hours, your PS3 will be looking at you like, get a girlfriend or something. Shit, man. I know you play me a long time, but on a different game, please, or through something that has a storyline. But yeah, the endurance race is too damn long. The endurance race in shift, however, much shorter. So they're not a big problem. They could be, could have been longer. Yeah, could have been longer, but yeah, not that long. Completed them all in a day. Easy peasy. So yeah, that's it about car. No, it's not. Yeah, let me say that one more time. It limits the amount of cars you have in shift. So you want certain cars, choose wisely. Actually, no, because you can just buy the car, drive it for a bit, sell it, buy back the one you had before. All your settings are still saved on it, so it's fine. Also, with the cars, is the tuning. Delicious. I think the tuning in Shift is a lot more accurate. Because it's a lot more easier to understand. In Shift, that British chap who chats to you forever and ever says he actually basically tells you what does what this will do that this will do that hardly any of them make you think hold on hold on what do I do? if you're not a proper car person all the details you can, you can have people who love cars why well, not love cars but like cars but they know fuck all about it you tell them what's this part of a car called they look at you and go uh and it carries on from there but for people who actually know what they're doing, yeah, Grand Turismo, if you know what you're doing, no problem. You're really not going to have a problem. But if you do, if you ask the sort of person who doesn't really know much about cars, Shift wins here. But it's kind of even because most people that play these driving games know all their shit. But yeah, it's a lot easier to understand in Shift. Because that guy basically tells you, this does that, that does that. This will make you turn in more, this will make you turn in less. This will make the camera go out, this will make the camera go in, which will do this and which will do that. And so on and so forth. He's very helpful there, but between those bloody cutscenes, are you just switch your TV off and wait and wait and switch it back on and then he's not there and it's praise the Lord. And yeah, that's about that. Now game modes. Nothing really special here. It's just, you know, you have your race, time trial career well in shift career career it's kinda quick if you're not if you don't be a bitch about it. And just 
fucking do it now. And then you'll be fine if you don't mind having your car smashed up a hell of a lot. Because it will. <laughs> yeah, the damage effects are a lot better on shift as well. Then Grand Turismo. Grand Turismo just looks a little weird. I mean, one time I did a jump and I landed and the back went into a V shape sort of shit. I was like, my bumper's broken. Or deformed itself. And I have no idea. It just didn't look right. The shift, it, yeah, it looked, the damage effects do look better. But, yeah, with the molds, it's just your basic stuff. Yeah, the, the Gran Turismo crew mold. Holy, holy, how, why, when, frick! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It really, really does take a long time. And the thing is, when you finish career mode, you have your online, so that's fine. Yeah, online, yeah. Just like in Gran Turismo, you can choose a free race, go on to free lap, and then just ride around smashing into each other. <laughs> it was fun for about 10 minutes. I'm not even joking. So, yeah. The career mode of Gran Turismo takes the pace to finish. Like I said, 15, 20 years of your life on a computer game. With a shift it's very quickly done, you get your cars, you go online, you have a blast. And if you like the game, then you just keep playing it. You don't really get bored. You should play constantly like an idiot. And don't change to, I don't know, DBZ Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Yeah, had to fit that in. Yeah, so, down to my opinion. Well, it's very simple. Well, if you think about it, it's very simple how to split these games. Because neither of them are crap. Grand Turismo? Oh god, say it's crap, I dare you. They will threaten you with pitchforks and spades. Yeah, American turns medieval. Especially the Americans, holy shit, do not diss their Grand Turismo. Just despite the fact it's a Japanese game made by Japanese, the Americans go blah over the game. But yeah, it's a good game. They're both good games. Shift is, a, Shift is a good game, Gradual is a good game, but I think about it this. If you're the sort of person who wants simulation, 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 that's the only thing in his mind, who wants the most realistic driving, then you get Gran Turismo. Because it, you know, it, the real driving simulator is on the freaking case. There you go, there's your proof. But if you're the sort of person who just wants a fun racer, which is kind of arcade like style, not very serious, because like in Gran Turismo, you go around a corner like this, or you die. Unless you figure out a way to tune your car so you can go through the corner holding down your accelerator going, Aah! But yeah, you have to go around, you have to drive a very specific, very carefully, very. No, oh, what's the word? I can't think of it now. Very accurate. I don't believe I couldn't think of the word accurate. You have to drive, drive very accu accurate. That sort of stuff. But for shift, it's more or less. You, you gotta be accurate as well. It is a bit harder to learn because of the way the cars handle. And that's when people usually give up and say, oh, it's a crap game. When they really don't finish it and kind of try and learn it. Just get the ins and outs. So, yeah, I mean. Alright, okay. Easy way to show you this. Alright, I'm gonna go around this corner. In both tuned Corvettes on both games on Laguna Seca on the last corner. Tell me which one looks like more fun. Well, which one more appeals to you? Which one? Because I actually know real life as well through watching TV. You know, British. What is it? British motor touring car. That's the one. British touring car. You actually do go that slow and stuff round corners. Although, because the pace of Gran Turismo is kind of slow. It does kind of take the biscuit. You think, I'm going too slow. I am going too slow. And you look at the replay. And it's like, shit. They really do it like that, don't they? Hey, I'm faster than Schumacher. Yeah, <laughs> had to fit that one in. But yeah, that's basically how they, you know, if if you like that sort of thing, then yeah, go ahead. But if you prefer joking, then yeah. So watch this and you know. Come write, write what you think in the comment section below. I fucking had to do that as well. I'm such a twat. Yeah, write it down below. See what you think. Which one do you prefer? Okay, here you go.
Yeah, so there you go. Which one do you prefer? Take it. Love it. That's all you gotta do. So yeah, for me it's if you want simulation, hardcore, what it looks like in real life in the game sort of thing, you know, just con cars the control kinda weird, like yeah, whatever, I'm not gonna bother getting into that. Yeah, actually I will. If you like sort of thing where cars handle very tight and stiff and very you turn here very gently, just tap it, that sort of thing. Very accurate. Get Grand Rismo. But if you're the sort of person, because in, in, cause in shift, you can just hold, slide, tap the brake a bit, keep holding the accelerator, keep tapping the brake, just trying to get your right line, shifting down a little, just holding your line. It's not very realistic. I mean, if you did that in real life, you'd pop your tires in a few seconds. But it's fun. You just drive like that. It's fun. You should give it a go. So, yeah, if you like accurate, Grand Turismo, if you like Need for Speed, then, well, actually, if you like the sort of f joking around racing, you know, burnout style, if you just came off burnout, get shift, tell ya, here's a, here's a barrel of laughs, don't so much Grand Turismo, don't so much Grand Turismo, don't get me wrong, so, yeah, that's what I think, that's my comparison about it anyway, you know, some cars, some wins there, some wins there, but both, and all in all, they're both good games, it's just pref which you prefer. So you can't really say, oh, ship this crap because of this, because Gran Turismo can do this, because, well, you like that sort of thing. You don't like the sort of driving shift does. But then there are plenty of people that still do. So, yeah, that's my comparison of um, Need for Speed. Shift. About to say Hot Pursuit, then. I've got to do a review for that someday. And Gran Turismo 5. Thank you for watching. Have a nice fucking day, everybody.